time, it's also an honor to introduce to you our valedictorian, Miss Francesca Soto. Good evening, guests, faculty, friends, families, and of course, the very, very small class of 2012. <laughs> Let me begin with saying that this is the most difficult thing I ever had to write. I was not only nervous out of my mind, but I pondered for days on what in the world I would talk to you all about. It became a little easier and more apparent when I came across a Bible verse that reminded me of my senior class, the graduating class of 2012. For everything, there is a season, a time for every activity, Ecclesiastes 3.1. This Bible verse is significant to me because I believe the transition of high school to college is just like a season change. Every time a new season approaches, I get excited because the weather is something new, fresh, and out of the ordinary. I believe this is how the graduates sitting before you will react when they enter a new environment filled with a diverse group of students, excited activities, and teachers who will either push them to the seat or, or will pile them up with unnecessary homework just for their amusement. <laughs> In other words, I believe this is how they will react when they first step onto the grounds of college. And, and although we have yet to experience the scaling, and it might be a little scary, I know my class is more than prepared and will succeed in whatever they set their minds to. I know this to be true because our education was provided for us by the teachers and faculty of Antelope Valley Christian School. On behalf of my class, we would like to thank the teachers and faculty members who stayed beyond school hours and who took the extra time from their personal lives to assist us with our needs. Most importantly, we would like to thank them for the knowledge and wisdom they all have bestowed upon us. To my friends, well, sorry. I would like to thank you for being yourself and for representing our class as a class who portrays leadership, unity, responsibility, and kindness. And although there are more characteristics that represent our class, I find these to be the most important qualities because these qualities are what our class is most known for. Because of these qualities, we, we have created a family amongst the senior class and amongst the school. We have extraordinary accomplishments, and we have achieved far greater in Christ. Because of these qualities, we, the senior class of 2012, will be leaving behind a legacy. Personally, I would like to thank two people in my life. To my mom, although we constantly argue, I thank you for loving me. I thank you for loving me unconditionally and for accepting me the way I am. I thank you for always being there and for encouraging me that I could do whatever I said I'd like to. Words, can, words cannot express how thankful I am to have you in my life and to have you by my side every step of the way. Most importantly, I would like to thank God for giving me the strength to overcome all obstacles that I face and the ones to come. Although it is said that we are parting ways to continue our own paths that God has set forth for us, I personally believe that my class will achieve their dreams because you guys can do anything through Christ who strengthens you. Thank you. 